Augusta is one of WA's best kept fishing secrets. Only a short drive from Bustleton, it's home to Billy Anderson from Southwest Fishing Adventures. Bill can show you through some spectacular waterways, such as the Blackwood River, where the brim fishing is first class. But I travelled south to fish with Bill at his secret salmon hole just out of town. After brim fishing all morning, we arrived at the calm bay where salmon certainly were out in force, but they were fussy and just wouldn't get into the mood to feed properly. We hooked one each, but went back to the hotel without a salmon hitting the bank. And boy, I hate to get beaten by fish. We really had to be back in Perth and the weather was setting in, but I couldn't resist one last crack at this spot the next morning, even though I was probably going to get blown away by the approaching Norwesters. Well, look, I don't mind telling you I was a little bit despondent last night. I came all the way out here to this beautiful spot in Augusta with Bill. We had the salmon chase, a hook up each, but no fish. So today I've come back, now it's overcast and they're probably going to be a little bit more likely to feed. And we're going to be using baits to start with. Now salmon, unlike Taylor, they are really responsive to little cubes of burley. So rather than using the whole muley, I've gone a half and only two hooks. I'm going to fling burley out there in the form of muley cubes. I'm going to flick it out, an unweighted half muley, see if the salmon will just come along and pick it up thinking it's burley. So let's go. Yes! Here we go now. There was a ray sneaking about in there, but I think this might actually be a salmon. I hope so, because we don't want to be landing stingrays. Oh, it doesn't really know it's hooked yet. There's a ray, look at this. There's so much activity in here after my burly trail. The fish is staying down and it's so choppy, I can't really see it. But I don't think it's a ray, it doesn't look black. It's going now, going on a run. It's a salmon, yes cartwheeling. It's in close, so it doesn't have a long way to go. There's so much reef around, it's not easy. Then we're going to walk him down away from the school. Definitely some weight in this fish. The salmon don't have teeth, but I've got a pretty strong leader just because of all the reef that you can see in front of me. And now we're closer again. Magnificent. Now just use the rod, just use the rod here, I'm just using it as a shock absorber, he wants to go away but I'm not letting him have any line, just letting the rod do the work for me to tire the fish out. So clear here in Augusta, this is magnificent, have a look will ya, have a look at that. This fish is getting tired. But you can't panic here. I think I may have even foul hooked it. It just swam into my hook. So I'm going to walk back up the beach, bring it in on a wave. See this? On the wave. Now my salmon is high and dry. Get the hook out, put the rod in the sand, and there we have it. A little bit sandy, but a fantastic Augusta Australian salmon. Look at the width. That's why the power is all there with these fish and they are absolutely magnificent. Pretty tired, so we just gently put it back in the water. Now, be gentle with the fish, he's gonna be tired. Just gonna hold it on station, just like this. And let the wave roll back through its gills. Look at that, feeling stronger, feeling stronger. I can feel it kicking. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here you go. Thanks for the fun. Fantastic. Yep, I'm in, I'm in. Yes, he's come out of the water. Woohoo! Oh, there's lots of salmon there. You can't see them because of the chop and they're hiding on the bottom, but they will take those little scraps of muley and this one's going down the beach. That's confused him. <laughs> it's very strange when you're fishing for salmon on bait because they actually tap, tap like herring. I was thinking, is that a herring? Oh, here he comes. Whoa! 
<laughs> Woohoo! Tower walk! And again, here we go. Woohoo! This one's got some life. Very strong, very strong indeed. Here we go, it's coming up. It's hard to know why they name these fish salmon because they're nothing like the Atlantic salmon you get in Europe. But I think it's because they jump when they hook like the Atlantic salmon. And here we go. This might be a bit bigger than the first one even. Wow, fantastic stuff. Right in the sand. Hooks come straight out. There's no teeth to worry about. And get your fish up before the wave comes. Oh, isn't that magnificent? That is just awesome. Have a look at that. Really much like a herring. Very similar species. And a fight second to none. Spectacular. The wind's starting to get up, but I don't mind. I'm having fun now. Once again, fish has had a bit of stress. Look at that, powerful. I'm on him, I've got him. Yep. Yeah, I'm on. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. He's gonna go berserk any second. He's right in the shallows. He's going to go berserk. There's salmon everywhere. Woo! My first salmon off the shore on fly. It's gonna be hard to land this. I just burlied out the water in front of me. They came in and he inhaled it. He doesn't even know he's hooked. That's the beauty of fly. He just thinks there's something sticky in the side of his mouth. Well, now he's off. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, just lost a thumb. Look at this. And here comes the big eagle ray to see what's going on. What's all the commotion about? Ow! Thumb! Thumb! Ow! Thumb! <laughs> ah, blast you, lack of drag. Oh, magnificent. It was like a barra jump. Look at the friend he's got, too. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh gee. I lost three fingers in that exchange. I'm gonna try and bring this to an end by walking backwards. Come on, wave. Come on, I need a wave to help me. Now point the rod, don't bend the rod. Point the rod. That's a big salmon on fly. And can you tell I'm happy? Yes, sir. <laughs> My first salmon on fly from the beach. Right here in Augusta, give me a quick wash. Oh. The sun's out. You can have a look at the magnificentness of the sun. Oh, it's trying to see the legs. <laughs> Is that a capture camera, man? Thank you very much. I better go and dry myself off. Who oh, you wanted? I got him. I got that one right and sure. Have a look at him. Woohoo! He's arcing up. Took it a foot from the shoreline. And now it's on. Oh! <laughs> That's insane! Let him take up that loose line. He's gonna come up, watch this. He doesn't want to be hooked. He doesn't want to be hooked. Oh! <laughs> that was the end of that. Oh, there's another one coming in on it. And he's got it. Oh my God, he took a fly. That's what he did. He's coming up, he's coming up.
bury the feet. Oh, backflip! Get that line tight, get that line tight. He's coming at me, he's coming at me. Woohoo! Scared the ray on the dismount. Oh, look at the bait fish showering out of his way. Now he's getting tired. I've got my fingers, instead of under the, my palm underneath, I've got it on the handle. I'm just going backwards and forwards because there's no anti-reverse on these reels. You don't want it to run too far and there's plenty of shock in a fly rod. Look at that, that one's coming in. Look at that. Yes, folks, we are only a metre and a half from shore here. Can you believe it? Oh, they're arced up in there. They're arced up. Look at this, a meeting of rays and salmon. <laughs> they all went their separate ways that time. I might give you a look at this one and have a look at the fly in the corner of his mouth. Dennis Rogers certainly knows how to make a decent fly. And that surf candy is a killer. All right, I'm not going to fall for that again, am I, eh? Now, interestingly, I'll get that fly out. That's a beauty. Have a look at that. Fantastic. Look at this. The salmon has obviously been injured by a shark that's been travelling with the pack, and he's coming here to rest. Now, even that much off his tail, he's still a magnificent fighting fish. So we're just going to be careful. We're going to pop him back in the water. We're going to do the old 25, 32, hut. And that's it. 